in this evening and I regret to say that it is positive. According to the pro protocols for managing COVID-19, I'm in self-isolation as required by the case management guidelines issued by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. That is so, for someone that is showing no symptoms. I wish to appeal to the people of Kaduna State to continue to closely observe the preventive measures already announced by our government. It is most important that everyone should do their utmost to stay safe, stay home, and stay alive. The Deputy Governor is in charge of our task force on COVID-19. I will continue to issue statements from time to time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back again. It's a boy out of Slink Media. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So guys, I'm beginning to think this uh, Mrs. Corona is not for people like us. Uh, they are, I'm beginning to think that this uh, corona is for the for the rich people, for the elites and people who can afford to travel and go on vacation. I don't think Mrs. Corona is here to contact or infect any poor people like uh, the poor masses or somebody who cannot afford to travel or people who are Hanging little, I don't think this corona I'm beginning to think that this this Mrs. Corona is not here for them. But apart from that, I want to wish uh, that is a uh, Kaduna Governor Herufai a very speed recovery because he just tasted positive to the virus. And meanwhile, guys, uh, testing positive to the virus is not a death sentence, guys. People do recover. With proper management, you will recover like 80% will recover. There's 80% chance you're going to recover, if not even 90% chances that you're going to recover. So, I'm wishing him a very quick, uh, quick uh, recovery and uh, good health, majorly because he was the one of the few, the first governor in Nigeria to act quickly. He was the one of the as spoken governor, like the first governor to be very, very outspoken about this thing, taking strict decision in his state to make sure this thing doesn't move across in his state. But unfortunately, he got hit. And uh, I'm wishing him quick recovery. You all know that these uh, people, the elites, the rich people are the one bringing this thing into this country. It's simple as that. They are the one that brought this thing into this country. They are the one that can afford to fly in. So they flew in with this uh, virus into this country. But uh, what all said are done, we just need to pray for our leaders and pray for them. And meanwhile, guys, uh, moving over, I, I want to talk about Bob Risky. There's this funny reaction that Bob Risky had, like uh, he was talking to a fan. Uh, the fan hacks, I don't think he has a D-I-C-K. You can pronounce it. Then Bob Risky quickly responded to the guy. He said, Cut it out long time ago. You know, there be speculation that uh, Bob Risky don't longer have uh, his or a Jack Thomas with between her legs anymore, but because uh, he has been undergoing some surgical procedures, procedures to finally transform into a full grown woman. And uh, there be speculation like that. So, uh, a few months ago, Bob Risky came out and said he doesn't want anybody to be referring to him as a man anymore that you want everybody to be referring to him as a she so you can call but basically a her or a she so that was he said so and uh, i do believe that he may have cut that thing off and they uh, may have transformed it into a woman genitize so whatever pleases him i don't have any say about that but i think it's quite funny comment and me why there was a man shouting in the street saying he want to die for President Buhari. In the middle of the street in Lagos, this man was busy shouting. Let's do it.
Certainly, you can see this man is clearly drunk and they are sticking more than you can chew. Uh, but uh, I don't want to talk about it because he's a drunk man, so he has your reason for saying he wants to do that for Mr. President. And meanwhile, there have been a lot of speculation that Mr. Bwari is positive to this uh, Mrs. Corona. And uh, uh, the presidency have come out to deny it several times. Then there was another rumor that Bwari and his SA and his chief of staff, Abba Kari, have traveled out of the country. And uh, that uh, Buhari need to address that Buhari was not in the country, all this kind of speculation. But earlier today, Buhari came out a video, full flesh video, that showed him and his uh, health ministers, health agents, briefing him about this uh, Mrs. Rona virus that is, uh, uh, that is in Nigeria. And uh, of course, I think these pictures and the video may be enough to lay, to lay to rest those speculations that are going around. So guys, it's a boy Adams Link Media. Make sure you leave your comment about what I've just discussed. Like this video, comment on it, and share it on all social media platforms. And uh, follow me on Instagram and as Link Media and on Twitter, Zebra Daily. And also, don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel yet. And uh, click on the bell notification as well so that you can get updated on all our new content. So bye guys, see you on my next video.